Hi, this is Trevor Sullivan, a Microsoft MVP for Windows PowerShell Automation and an independent cloud and automation consultant. I wanted to take a moment today to show you how to perform IntelliSense or auto completion or tab completion as it, some people call it for uh, .NET object constructors in PowerShell. So uh, for those of you who are authoring PowerShell code, you're probably familiar with the new object commandlet that allows us to arbitrarily instantiate .NET object types. So uh, for example, a, a common object type that you might want to instantiate is the SQL connection object. Now if we instantiate the SQL connection, we have to specify a list of arguments, uh, which is an arbitrary object array, that specify the input arguments to the constructor for that particular object type. So unfortunately, we don't get really any help here to show us uh, you know, what, uh, what arguments we can specify or what input parameters we can specify to the object constructor. So wouldn't it be nice if we just had that facility built into PowerShell rather than having to go out to the documentation or to an IL disassembler tool like .NET Reflector or IL Spy or the Visual Studio Object Browser? Well, thankfully, thanks to the Tab Expansion++ module from Jason Shirk, who's a Microsoft employee on the PowerShell core team, and thanks to an extension that I authored just today, uh, August 28th, 2015, uh, what we can do is add auto-completion for those parameters. So what does that look like? Well, I'm going to show you how to get started. Uh, so for the sake of example, we're going to go to my uh, C users Trevor Sullivan documents and then go down to Windows PowerShell and modules. And we're going to go to this tab expansion plus plus folder here because I've already installed the module and we're going to go ahead and delete that because uh, normally that does not show up on a vanilla system. So what we want to do is go out to uh, GitHub and go to uh, tab expansion plus plus. So github.com slash uh, LZYBKR. That's uh, Jason Shirk's GitHub account. And then he's got a repository out there called tab expansion plus plus. Now, there's a couple of different Git branches available in this module. It's kind of taken a back burner to some of the other work that Microsoft is doing. So unfortunately, it hasn't been updated on the master branch in some time. However, there is a new branch called Drop Scanning Registration that's got some new mechanisms built into it. Uh, you know, basically how, how argument completer functions are registered. It's kind of an implementation detail that we don't really need to worry about. But what we can do is come over here and download the zip file for tab expansion plus plus, uh, we can open that up and then we can simply do a copy install, which basically just means we uh, drag and drop the contents out to our Windows PowerShell modules directory. Now, because the actual module name is called tab expansion plus plus, we're going to want to rename that folder so that the folder name matches the um, module manifest name, right? So these need to match in order for PowerShell to dynamically pick up that module. So now that we've installed the tab expansion plus plus module, we also need the custom argument completer that uh, I just recently put together. So if you go out to trevorsullivan.net, uh, I actually put together an article called, uh, called autocomplete.net constructor params. Uh, I should probably specify that that's for PowerShell, but if you start reading, it's pretty evident that that's uh, specifically related to PowerShell. And if you scroll down here, um, it actually has the installation steps here all laid out for you. So first is to copy install that tab, exp tab expansion module. Uh, it does also point out that you have to use the drop scanning registration branch because of the new registration mechanism that that uses. Uh, so don't use the master branch. And then the second step is we need to copy the custom argument completer that I wrote, which is out on uh, gist.github.com. So if we just hit uh, raw here and copy the contents of that file, paste it into a new file, and then save it as microsoft.powershell.core.trevor, just to give it a unique name, .argumentcompleters.ps1. 
Now the file name has to match dot argument completers dot ps1 because the tab expansion plus plus module is actually looking for files that end in that suffix right so honestly you could give this file whatever name you want to as long as it exists in the same directory as the tab expansion plus plus module itself and it also needs to end with dot argument completers dot ps1 so again i'm just going to tack on my dot trevor there to make that a unique file so now this file exists in the tab expansion directory so now all we have to do in order to actually utilize it is fire up a new PowerShell session. Now you could be using PowerShell uh, ISE, uh, you could be using the PowerShell console host, or you could be using Visual Studio PowerShell tools, which is an extension by MVP Adam Driscoll uh, that allows you to author PowerShell projects inside of Visual Studio. So if we create a uh, new Visual Studio project, uh, we'll create a new PowerShell module project and all we really need to do is go down to the PowerShell interactive window and type import module name tab expansion plus plus. Now um, we actually have a, a little problem here which is that the when we extracted the files uh, they are actually um, uh, there's um, alternate data streams that are attached to them, basically designated and designating that they've been downloaded from the internet. So what we need to do is go out to um, documents, Windows PowerShell, slash modules, slash tab expansion plus plus, and say unblock file star. So uh, now we can see that the module has been successfully imported uh, because those alternate data streams are no longer blocking the files from being uh, executed properly. And so now that the module's been imported, we automatically get all of the argument completer functions that are in the root of the tab expansion plus plus module itself. So if we come into our PowerShell module here and we say new object dash type name, uh, let's say SQL connection, and we'll use auto completion to complete that. That's that's built in. That's not uh, custom through tab expansion plus plus. That's just that's part of the core PowerShell IntelliSense. But then if we go to argument list and we hit space after that, you can see that we actually get this list of constructor signatures that's built directly into PowerShell. So what's great about this is that we no longer have to go out to the documentation page for a .NET library or use uh, like a Visual Studio Object Browser or some other you know internet, inter intermediate language uh, disassembler utility to disassemble the uh, .NET library and kind of view the signatures of all the constructors for each object type. So now we can simply come in here and um, you know build out our parameters much more rapidly than if we did not have this tool available. So for pretty much any um, object like IP endpoints, uh, you know, here's the signatures, here's the constructor signatures for IP endpoints. Um, if we want to build a PS credential object, we can see the signatures for that. So there's two different constructors for that. So this is a really cool utility. Um, I hope that you guys uh, benefit from this. Uh, thanks to the functionality that's provided by Jason Shirk's Tab Expansion++ Plus Plus module, uh, this was all made possible. So all I did was took about 30 minutes and I wrote a custom argument completer function for the Tab Expansion++ Plus Plus module, and that extended the capabilities of PowerShell's IntelliSense. So uh, I hope that you guys find this uh, utility useful. I hope you find this video useful as far as how to get started and how to actually utilize this capability. Uh, if you want to learn more about me, you can go to trevorsullivan.net, my website, and you can also go to twitter.com slash pcgeek86. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.